Hi, my name is Caitlin Tigert. I am an American student in the first year of pharmacy in Spanish. Hey, I'm Yasmin Ruithi. I'm from Morocco. I speak French also and I study pharmacy in Spanish. Hi, my name is Amma Monberg. I study pharmacy in English and I'm from Germany, but I live in Sweden. We had met outside, do you remember, on the bench that day. We were leaving, we were leaving class yeah. and Yasmin was waiting for you and I was there talking to her and then we all met and then you were like, hey, why don't you want to come over? Yeah. And so Yasmin invited me and then we went over to the party, had fun, and ever since then we've been friends. Friends here are just like, you have friends all over the world and I really like it because you get like a little bit of an insight in every culture around the world from Sweden, from Morocco, yeah. from everywhere. Norway. Try the Moroccan food without going to Morocco. Yeah, it's, true. it's super nice. And you always meet Italy. somebody from your country. Yeah, everywhere. Yeah. Is there anyone from like a country that's super, I don't know, from a country you wouldn't expect to see here? I don't know, there's no country I wouldn't expect to see here. No. I wasn't actually expecting to see so many Americans here. The biggest advantage, I think, of having friends that are international is that when I'm really, really tired and exhausted and I just absolutely cannot speak in Spanish, I always have someone that I can um, conversate with in English. If you can just go to your friends and speak in English or in Swedish or in German or in Arabic or in French, <laughs> you know. You taught me like how to speak in the past. Every time I was speaking in Spanish, I was like, uh, and I say the <laughs> I say the verb in, in the present. Yeah, but you're doing great. You're doing really great because you've only spoken Spanish for less than a year and you're studying pharmacy in Spain. You'll teach me like most of my Spanish. Yeah. That I know. <laughs> Gracias, tarjeta, hasta luego. Me, I speak Arabic, French and English. And when I knew that I was coming, I was like, oh my God, I need to learn Spanish. Like, this is impossible. <laughs> and I just did like one month of classes, like, really really classes like every day I had Spanish class and so I decided to live with Spanish roommates so I can practice with them and talk with them for me like the classes are kind of different but like the Spanish people they're like oh just let me send you the mm -hmm. like the classes and the exams and you know like to help me well I study in English so I'm learning Spanish right now and it helps a lot that all my friends know Spanish and everybody speaks Spanish here what other languages do you speak I mean Swedish, German, English, and like a little French, and hopefully soon Spanish. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yes. That's a lot of languages. You both know so many languages. I'm like, I know too. <laughs> Je suis une fille is the. But that's good. Is the sentence I know. Like, you know what does it mean? Yeah, I'm a a girl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I forgot the word for woman, but I do remember that one. Femme. Femme. Yeah. Like hungry in Valencian. <laughs> Think fam. Je suis une femme. Well, you don't really need Swedish here, but I'm still teaching some words. Yeah. Just for fun. <laughs> I think I know I love you. Jag oh. alskar dig. I know it's in German. Ich liebe dich. Yes. 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 <laughs> Look at us. <laughs> One story I'll never forget of us doing is when we went to the beach in February like while it was snowing in Sweden and all my friends from Sweden <laughs> were like, I didn't really know anything about Spain. I, I, I couldn't even believe that there was this entire culture that was so wonderful and beautiful and had this amazing food I'd never even heard of. I had never even heard of a paella. And now it's like what I want, what I eat all the time. But when I came over, it was all surprising. The paella was amazing. And then there were things I wouldn't even think about, like the tiniest things. There were light switches next to your bed. So in America, when you want to go to bed and you have to turn off the light, you have to get out of bed and turn off the light switch. And here in, in, in Spain in particular, there are light switches right next to the bed. So I could just go, bam, turn it off and go to sleep. And that was like my favorite thing. I think the technology is, is actually a lot more advanced here. Uh, when I came here, I had never seen the little cards where they, you just tap and pay. You can even tap on the machines here for coffee. The weather is beautiful and the people are so open and like helpful and nice. So yeah. I'm happily surprised. Mm -hmm.